Hey everyone, I'm back with another review. So today we're going to be reviewing David's Tea's Strawberry Colada. So this is a tea, I don't even know when this first came out. This is an oldie, like an old tea. So I ended up finding some, someone was selling it and they were just like, they sent me a whole list of their teas and they were like, you want strawberry colada too? And I'm like, sure. Um, I thought I actually reviewed this one. I don't, I, I looked on my channel and I didn't. So I was like, all right, it's another tea to review. Sounds great. Uh, I ended up putting it in just a regular silver tin. I do have some left. Um, I have had this tea before in the past. I just don't really remember it too, too, all that well. Um, I don't have an ingredient list with me. Sorry, guys. I know that there's strawberry in here. I know that there's, I think there's rhubarb. I think, or if those raisins. Yeah. Um, this is an herbal infusion, by the way. It has hibiscus in it. It has apple. I can see that it has pineapple as well. Um, I'm just like literally looking in here it also has some coconut peel it has uh it's very high in hibiscus and then it also has like these huge um freeze-dried uh slices of strawberry so yeah uh that is our tea if you guys want to look up the ingredient list you can i just kind of went based off of what i'm looking at uh fruit teas are pretty easy to kind of determine what kind of fruit is in the tea without even like looking at the ingredient list so yeah it smells it doesn't even really smell like strawberry. It's just a very strong kind of like hibiscus tart note. I'm not getting any coconut. The pineapple is slightly there, but not too much of it. And yeah, this one's just a very strange, unusual kind of fruit smell. Yeah, um, so I don't know. I've never, I think I, I think I tried this like a while ago. Sorry, I had to slam that tin down. I'm hating these new tins guys if you guys have like bought any of the new tins or got any with uh, free tea or got any free with tea they are so hard to take off and put on like look i'm literally like using my strength and i have to like go around to get it open and then like i have to literally use two hands i don't even know what it is but they're just so hard and then like usually with a tin you kind of just like push down but like i'm like pushing and nothing's happening so i li literally have to slam it in order to close i mean i guess that's good because tea doesn't go everywhere but i don't know i don't really agree with these tins some people might but anyways um i made it iced here i cold brewed it uh no sweetener and i'm gonna give it a try so this one i remember this one now this one is very very strong i would actually no that's a lie i wouldn't say it's super strong and tart and hibiscus flavoring it is though it's um it, it's right off the bat and then at the very end you get that uh not even strawberry you get like a fruit like flavor at the end it's like a mixture of like i'm getting no pineapple i'm getting no coconut you get a little bit of a strawberry i guess but it's mostly like you take a sip and it's like that hibiscus that strong strong hibiscus flavor um me personally i don't really like this tea you guys know how I feel about hibiscus, like sweet tart, uh, queen of tarts. I hate those teas. Um, don't really steer towards those. So I might just drink this up and be done with it. Uh, yeah, I just bought some to review and I didn't think I'd hate, dislike it as much as I do. It's tart. Uh, it's not very sweet. So I would add some sweetener, suggest adding some sweetener. If you guys like hibiscus, you're going to like this one just because of how much is in this tea of hibiscus. So um, yeah, I, I don't really like this one. It's not for me. It's literally just all tart and hibiscus, no strawberry flavoring or taste to me. So would I repurchase this tea? I would not. Would I stock up? I would not. Rating out of 10, since I don't like hibiscus, it's a 5 out of 10. It's not super strong with the hibiscus, so it does get some points, but it's still a 5 out of 10 for me for strawberry colada. So I hope you guys like this review, and thank you so much for watching.